Hey guys, we are going to a nursery today to check out some plants for our backyard and get a glimpse at some trees that we're considering. So come on and join us. So we are on our way to the library and I just checked this voicemail I got from like an unknown number. And it's from the library that I've been bringing Aubrey to. I remember like filling out like one like entry ticket because she completed her summer reading like of 25 books in the summer or whatever, which we did way more than that I think. But I had like one entry ticket into this raffle when you could have gotten different entry tickets, you know, throughout the whole summer. Sorry, this is so bumpy, but um, yeah, I got a voicemail saying that Aubrey won the grand prize and I'm just in shock. Like <laughs> it's been a while since like we've won something and it's a fire tablet, I guess. And now I, you know, so I'll be bringing her into the library soon and they have to take her picture with it. And I'm just like in shock. And I thought I would share this with you since it is like fresh emotions and Aubrey understands it as like she's getting her own little like iPad but Aubrey how excited are you? <laughs> Do you know what you won? Do you know how how rare it is that we win a drawing with only one ticket? You'll learn about probability in, a, in many years okay? But you are, you are the special winner. We gotta go to the library and take a picture with your prize. You're a grand prize winner. Yeah, because I picked the baby book. You picked the baby book? We checked out books, yeah. Yeah, I picked the baby book again. <laughs> she really liked the book that was like Baby Learns to Touch. And it, it's actually a pretty good book. It talks about like, oh, when the clothes come out of the washer, they're wet and cold. When they come out of the dryer, they're warm and dry and whatever. But anyways, okay, we're, we're almost to the, the nursery, but I just, I had to share that because I'm in shock and I'm excited. That'll be a fun little trip that we get to do this week. All right, we are here. This place is huge. They have like, it was like lot 10, lot nine, lot whatever. And there's just like tons of trees everywhere. So we're considering a Chinese elm tree, which is really nice. Cause like they lose their leaves. At least the one at my parents' house loses its leaves, but it gets new growth like towards the end. Sorry, this little man gets angry when he doesn't get his food quickly enough. Hey. They it gets like new leaves as it's losing its old ones, so um, it never looks like totally naked. So we may end up just getting like two of those because it's hard for me to like decide. I have been doing stuff on my iPad to like get a, an idea of what we could have in our yard, and I'll show you guys kind of what I've drawn up. But we may just end up getting two of the Chinese elm trees because it's just. I like those trees and I don't know if, if I'm gonna like a different tree, <laughs> but let's go check these out. Okay, so we just talked to someone inside and we are apparently at like a, what was it, wholesale location? Um, not really like a retail place, 
So we're gonna go check out, like they said, they have 24 inch, the Chinese elms here. And she estimated that it might be around like $300 for a tree because we're gonna go like as small as possible and just let it grow rather than getting something that's like super established. But we're gonna have to go to a different location to like actually purchase a tree. But uh, we're gonna go and drive by and just kind of see what they have here and probably just continue to look around and see if like anything else catches our eye. Aubrey, what do you think about this place? It's windy, <laughs> yeah. It's windy and bright, huh? Can you tell me where to go? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you where to go. Okay, so we are on our way home. Uh, I think we're gonna go to like the retail nursery probably when we're visiting my parents because it's like out that way. So I'm really torn because I like how both of these look that I've sketched up or if you guys have a different idea, let me know down in the comments. But um, on my iPad, like I filled in, I took a picture of our current yard and then I like tried my best to you know use my little procreate skills to add grass and I wasn't sure if like if we should shade our walkway with like crepe myrtle trees kind of lining the walkway that way if you're riding a bike or something or just walking around it's nice and shaded but it still leaves like the whole backyard open and you know it would definitely be a lot more trees and more maintenance and Juan's worried about like the tree being too low like the branches so that like when you're riding a bike it's like hitting you in the face so those are some concerns also they're not always flowering like in my picture so you know it won't be beautiful colors year-round so that's also something to consider um, but then I also sketched up like a picture of what it would look like with like a mature Chinese elm tree and I tried to add shade you know like where I think there would be shade so let me know down in the comments which of these two options you guys think look the best in our backyard. Um, or if you have a suggestion for a tree that provides good shade, that's hopefully evergreen, we don't want to have to pick up too many leaves. Um, or like we don't want a tree that like drops a bunch of stuff as well, like seeds and all this stuff to like clean up. So if you guys know of a tree, sorry it's so bouncy. Um, if you guys know of like a tree that you think would look great in our backyard, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll sketch up another little design. But on that big side yard, we definitely want like a nice big tree just for shade for the kiddos. And then, um, you know, also to leave some space for like a swing set or a playground or something. So that we're kind of set on, but it's the backyard that we're maybe me. I'm a little still more torn. But to wrap up this video, I'd like to first thank you guys for watching this little vlog. Um, if you guys are new here, subscribe, and Aubrey wants to sing to you guys.
video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.